Even senior White House officials are now on the ground in Israel, and Egypt is in talks with the U.S. and Israel about securing safe corridors to deliver aid to besieged Palestinians in Gaza. On Thursday, Israeli forces continued airstrikes against key Gaza targets, and a top Hamas commander has reportedly been killed. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Tel Aviv this morning, then quickly met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to affirm America's support for its closest ally. As Israel's defense needs evolve, we will work with Congress to make sure that they're met. And I can tell you, there is overwhelming, overwhelming bipartisan support in our Congress for Israel's security. Hamas has fired thousands of rockets into Israel. Netanyahu not mincing words when comparing the militants to another internationally recognized terrorist organization. Hamas is ISIS, and just as ISIS was crushed, so too will Hamas be crushed. And Hamas should be treated exactly the way ISIS was treated. Conditions in Gaza remain dire. Entire neighborhoods have been flattened and the power plant is no longer operating. Hospital generators will run out of fuel in days, putting patients' lives in jeopardy. Israeli officials say the airstrikes will continue and shipments of fuel, food and medical supplies will not be allowed in until all hostages are freed. United Nations officials warn that a humanitarian crisis is emerging. UN staff are working around the clock to support the people of Gaza. Crucial life-saving supplies, including fuel, food and water, must be allowed into Gaza. The death toll in the now 60-year-old war has surpassed 2,700 on both sides. Officials say more than 1,300 have been killed in Israel alone, including 27 Americans. 14 Americans remain unaccounted for. The White House confirming that U.S. citizens are among the estimated 150 people taken from Israel now being held hostage in Gaza. Meantime, senior Biden officials say the evacuation of Americans in Israel will begin Friday through charter flights to Europe. European cities. They're still working through some of the details of that to assist U.S. citizens and their immediate family members uh, who have, for whatever reason, not been able uh, to provide commercial transit uh, out of the country. U.S. officials say those flights will be at least four a day out of Israel through Frankfurt, Germany. Now, again, that's through air. The State Department is also saying exploring options to consider land and sea as a method to evacuate Americans out of Israel. Stephen and Natasha. All right, Antoine, thank you.